I'm so happy, you okay? You okay? What do you even do with this? <laughs> <laughs> My God! That's our baby one as well. Yeah. So what do you do with this? Hey guys, I am King of the Spock and today we are at Ali Pali, aka Alexandra Palace at Elex. It's basically a trade show for electricians and today they've also got a um, side-by-side -side tool fair which is for everyone else. These work trousers are meant for tools but I keep lipstick in here, put the little Vaseline, prevent the dry lips. Hey, I'm a big fan! <laughs> A sparky. Sparky, oh well done. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing a little um, documentary today oh, right, right. on um, the life of being a tradesperson. This is a voltage indicator. Every electrician must have. Oh, this is what oh, I had. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know which model. I think this might have been it. <laughs> did it look after you? It did. And what I like about QTEC um, is that for the RCD test, it says pass or fail rather than a figure, which I like because when you want to show the client that it failed, Instead of sending them a number that says, you know, like 157, which they don't understand, it says fail, you take a picture, here's the proof, it failed, you need to replace your RCDs that are failing. So that's what I really like about the Q-Tech. Oh, no, that's a good, that's a good feedback. Yeah, you can use that today. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cute little adapters. That is good, look. Oh, yeah, I can see it, the little metal contacts. You know that thing that we was using earlier? Now you can easily pop them in there to test whether someone's electrics are safe or not, basically. So now you test them. Yeah. Because otherwise you try and get in, you never yeah. know whether you've got contact. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Thank you so much. I Good. think... We'll ha have a stretch on. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'll need this for today. That was good. That was a little VIP celebrity treatment to get in and wouldn't expect anything less because uh, you know what it's like being um, a glitch in the matrix. You get little, um, yeah, but anyways, sorry, getting distracted. I need to use a bathroom. These are the competitors of where we just came from. <laughs> oh, this is my boy. Hello. Long nice time no see. You. You right? What are you doing? Working. What are you like? What? Because for the show, yeah. Yeah, talk it, doing? not Alex. Yeah. No, both. 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 I'm here doing a little documentary kind of thing cool. about how cool trades people are. Epic, love that. All right, let's go to one stand there. Yeah, right. we're gonna go to the Wego stand. It's like their 50th anniversary or whatever the year is. But either way, it's their anniversary. So we'll go there, check it out. And normally they do like you know like these kind of things. But, so yeah, you end up leaving the trade show with like loads of pens and things like that. Oh, they've got a little pick and mix here. Look at this, so sick. So these are connectors to connect cables to one another, but their brand is really cool and playful. Hello. Hello, I'm Rachel. I'm Hi, nice to meet you. you. Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm you just, okay? yeah, I'm okay. I'm just um, filming. Yeah, filming, doing like it. a little pick and mix thing. Yeah, um, nice. We'll say this, you guys, is anniversary or something, right? Yeah, Birthday. 50 years. It started. is 50. I yeah. was right. Sorry, thank you. You got one? Yep, got it. So, can I get definitely some green ones? Yeah, so they're our brand new sustainable version. Yeah, they're cute. And, um, yeah, a bit of everything. Yeah. A couple of our cushions as well. Yeah. We've got our six mil version and our pop you a gel enclosure in there. Mm. You've got our brand new cushion in Oh, can I get a couple well. of these? I'll do like those. Uh, and just a few of these. Thank you. No problem. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> Put them in the bag, no one will see. Oh, no, wait, you're part of the Wago stand. <laughs> so, yeah, what you do, right, is... Um, oh, we've got some of this. Can I strip some of this? Yeah. So if we start with this one. It's perfect. So this one, it's to take off the outer insulation. Oh, I like the Wago green nails. We, had, we do have Wago green nails. I love it. <laughs> so we give it a twist and a pull, and that takes off your oh, outer. Oh, perfect. And then we can use this one to take off the inner insulation. Strip and pull. So it's just oh, perfect. Up. Look, this is what you do with them. So you open it up, little spring lever things. These pop that in there. Push that, and it connects. So you add another one in here. But this is not a tutorial on how to do DIY electrics. Oh, look at this little art gallery vibes. Oh, I really get 
the feelings from this art piece. Is that right? The 50 years of splicing, My is it? This is beautiful. I'm shedding a tear. I, I've never had these before. What are these? Why are they grey? Great. Great. Um, Explosive proof. Hello, I'm good. How are you? Yeah. Do you guys know this gentleman? No, I've never met him before. What's your name? Really? Nick. Uh, Nicholas. Nice to you. Oh, Nicholas, like the Santa Claus. Oh. I've seen um, Jordan, like, hello, mate, like, Jordan. whatever. Yeah, artisan. Is he? I saw him in the queue and I was like, Is he in the queue? Like, he was in the queue. Hey, Jordan, when you watch this, <laughs> I didn't have a queue. This is Nicholas. Hi. He is like the number one electrician. Says who? Based of um, being second to Artisan in terms of YouTube followers. Maybe. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, I've got it's more Instagram true. followers than Jordan, which he hates. So yeah, fine. so um, he, um, yeah, he's like one of the first people we met doing this electric thing. And he's got the same birthday as me. Yes. 420 vibes. Yeah, boy. It's a funny story, right? So there was a challenge where you have to connect all these uh, commercial little plugs and stuff, right? The plugs, wasn't it? Yeah, and um, I was kind of just walking along, about to go home, and I was like, you know what, let me give it a go. I don't do these kind of things for work, but I'll give it a go anyways. And um, I did it in like 11 seconds. And I was, um, I was the fastest and, by, what, is it 16? Yeah, he was at like 16 I'm, seconds, right? I have beaten everyone, and then you came along. <laughs> but the funny thing is, he went there to witness this. So I'm there now, I've collected my prize, because it's the end of the day now. Nick comes to get his prize, and they're like, no, sorry, Nick, she won. He laughed. He's like, yeah, right, can I get my prize now? They're like, no, seriously. Yeah, she beat she you by it. four seconds. Like. And then you was like with a group of your guys, and they were just all laughing at him. And I was, like, fits, yeah. I was like, yeah, man, I wish I got that on camera. Yeah. And then you did it again on the MK Yeah, one. MK. I did it uh, two days, but the second day, uh, Finney and Electrical whatever beat me, and um, then I won Prismian, and that's how I got the. That's how I got um, uh, my Prismian contract. Oh, is it? Yeah, because oh, I won. Um, yeah, yeah, I won on there, and they was like, wow, okay. Well they was supposed Prism to, I love Prismian. Prismian is the best brand I've ever worked for. Getting it in. No, seriously, Getting best brand I've ever worked for. Uh, they I'm are like. Man myself, so. Oh, oh. Fine. Like, I can't even say that name. I'll sign a contract. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so he's uh, sponsored by my competitor. Well, my brand's competitor. So yeah, if you can't, um, he can't mention the brand that I sponsored by, and I can't mention the brand he's sponsored by. A little sparky beef. So what happens is, when you become a famous electrician like him, he's already hit his 100k subscribers um, on YouTube. I think he's got like 40 something k followers on Instagram, and um, yeah, long story short. When you become a famous tradesperson, you get sponsorships and brand deals, and all these brands pay you, give you free stuff, and you just make content with it. Oh, is this the. I don't know why I thought this was the burger band. <laughs> it looks like, innit? Yeah, they do free bacon rolls and free sauce. It's always a free bacon roll with tradespeople and a cup of tea. I hope there's a cup of tea because that's what I want. As you can see, the guy behind me is on his knees eating a bacon roll, right? That is, that is literally industry to a tea. On your knees, doing work, eating bacon rolls all day. Obviously not everyone eats bacon. In the trades world, everything is an expense. Any money you spend doing anything is an expense. You have to get a good accountant, because, yeah, this is an expense. So if you have a look around, you'll see, right, that majority of the people are basically white men. So if you're a woman in this industry, or anyone that's not considering themselves as white you're basically a minority and there is a big lack of representation in the industry so obviously just a little bit political yeah but you know when they say like these foreigners are coming out here and taking our jobs I look around and I'm like but it's all just white men so who's really out here taking your jobs yeah I've, I've never seen um a jewellery stand at an electrician show? Yeah, well, it's, it helps with man bags, that's what it does. It's not It's not a jewellery stand, it's magnetic healthcare, which helps with circulation. Yeah. yeah, and this is the jewellery that we wear. This used to probably be someone's old fuse board. This was probably somebody's meter tells in a past life. Want to try one? Yeah, why not? Are you gold, silver, copper? Copper. Let's Cop go for a copper one. Here we go. Would you like something like that? Is there a design that you like? If I was to go, ooh, can we try that one? That one? Yeah. yeah. What you do, place it on and nip it up. Oh. And that'll do the whole body. From head to toe, knees to feet, everything. Gang, gang. I'm joking.
Maybe. Well, you're not on the square, are you? I'm gonna think about it. You're not on my, are you? If I if I was, I wouldn't tell you. Yeah. My dad was a Grand Lodge officer. Ah, lovely, lovely. I'm not. <laughs> not not doing any of that. I need my shoes clean. I'll be back soon. I'll be back soon. <laughs> So you know when I told you I made the little viral video that just blew up about me talking about religion when I was like, my G, okay. this is, is him. That, all right, okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Over a million yeah, now. Yeah. I, that's why I changed my hair colour to black. Is it? Because you know people start recognising me, they walked into the shop, they're like, wait, are you the, um, uh, the my G girl? I was like, <laughs> my G, give me a sign. Trades people without tea. If you ever That'll have a trades person, yeah, if you ever yeah. have a trades person in your house, Please, make them a cup of tea, make it good, make it proper, build us tea, two sugars, splash of milk. <laughs> Your stands are, oh, you got the dartboard! Well, I had to do something. Did right? you get the... <laughs> you got legit darts, not, not the sticky... Yeah, 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 no, I had oh, to, I had sick. to do it. I was like, oh, so they were like, yeah, so, do what um, you want. So, um, little idea, we, we had on the phone, uh, we had a little phone call, and I was like, look, you know what, together was like, yeah, darts, sick idea. Got a little darts thing. Give me his idea. But she's got to have a go now, right? Yeah, but I'm not that good. <laughs> Played it in the Hilti store, sponsored by Hilti, by the way. Amazing, so power tool brand. They're like top, top, yeah. And they have a darts board there. I was playing it, and yeah, on the phone, I was like, you know what? It would be sick if you can get that approved. Obviously, health and safety didn't know if they would say yeah, but they did. And um, I told them, yeah, a lot of people stop by your stand if you've got one of these. And it worked. Okay, so I just dash it, yeah? Basically, just dash it. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, step back, step back. Yay, seven! <laughs> oh! So those builder guys, they're like the most famous builders in the world. They got like 500k subscribers or whatever else, yeah? And all they do is silly videos, like all day every day, consistent with their content. But they are sick. So you got that guy there, uh, Madden Builders. Um, he's... Um, not that one, that's Nick. We already know him. Hey! Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're cool. So this is what I have, uh, colour coded, really cute. Uh, this is what I first had when I started off as an apprentice. That's what I had when I first started Ooh. off and I'm still going. Weira, these guys, branding wise, they're really cool. So what they do is um, like a little calendar, advent calendar during Christmas. Um, during Easter, they do like an Easter egg, but without chocolate and it's all tools inside. So their branding is on point. And look at their logo. Be a tool rebel. Oh, this is so cute. The non ratcheting one, so the bits just magnetised into containing there. Or ratcheting version. The only thing I think about that is how, how deep can you get it? Like, say it's like well tight, and that's going to... Uh, that's yeah, the thing. That, that's what I'm saying. The but smaller, the better. You could just put that straight into yeah, there or an extension into it. Yeah. That would be your solution to it, but yeah. Um, but if you're you needing it. something far away, you're not generally yeah. using yeah. stuff. No, no, of course not, no. So you've got ratchet both ways, oh, left cute. right, okay. and then you can have it just locked out. And then the bits are colour coded, I don't know whether you know about our colour coding. So black is posit, red is Phillips, yellow is slotted, torch is green, and then hex is blue. So you've just got that quick correlation. What is this little thing that you guys do? So we've got a competition ready. Mm -hmm. The okay. fastest tie throughout the event is a four and a half dollar set. To do what? Basically, you've got to remove the outer cover. Yeah. So there's two screws here. Yeah. And you've got to change this RCD unit. Okay. So you've got to remove this one, put the new one up, and then you've got to torque it to two newton meters, which is manufactured. Yeah. Once you're done, hit stop. Well, I changed the fuse board this big in 30 minutes last night. The whole thing. You fancy chances, two minutes of the minutes the fastest time. Two minutes? Two minutes, yeah. To adjust the torque on this, it's at 1.2, and you need to adjust it to two. So you pull down on the collar. Before the timer or after the timer? After the timer, so that's part of the challenge, yeah? This one, for the longest screws, if you have any, you need to use it. Basically, you press this button here. It's a gear mechanism that activates inside. So for every turn of the handle, it turns the screw four times. Three, two, one, go. Oh my God! Whoa, okay. Um, wait, do I safely isolate? The power's off. 
the um, ED, what's, what do you call it? UK Power Networks took the main fuse out already. Oh, the buzz bar fell out. Uh, what's the next thing? That thing, yep. That's it, get it on. You're gonna beat two minutes. Huh? Stop. Yeah. That'll do. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, perfect. <laughs> there you go. That'll be, uh, that'll be 120 pounds plus 18, please. I like your scarf. Oh, good. I just got abused for my scarf. Whoa. Liverpool was a uh, very. How long have you been supporting Liverpool for? Oh. Uh, uh, well, it's I've one of those things, it's like, I was until they made me cry and now I don't watch football. They did. It was a, it was a sad day about 10 years ago. Uh, Steven Gerrard got a red card, I think Ryan Babel got like a yellow card that game. Everybody got a card and it was just really sad and I cried and I ruined my friend's birthday. She said, you and your damn Liverpool ruined my birthday crying. Yeah. Oh, it's uh, making a little documentary actually. Uh, I was making a little documentary about doing oh, really... But you're the record holder now, are you? Your name goes up. Oh, well, that's by one second. I'm not happy with this score. I know I could have done better. going back in for the one minute 45. I'm going to come back round with like a different hairstyle and just do it again. What's that? And it was in the Knipex now. Knipex? Did I say it wrong? Knipex. The K is silent. <laughs> no, I've not seen it. Yeah, man said knipex, the K is silent. You don't say knock the door, you say knock the door. But he didn't know. That's the thing with, with brands here. So see like this brand, they're German. So the W, or like Wago, the W is actually a V, like Volkswagen. So instead of Wago, Vera, it's a Vera and a Vago. But if you say that, people think you're just trying to like, it's like the equivalent of saying croissant instead of croissant in the trades world. Stop. 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 Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to have a go? Not you should not. not if you're not a qualified electrician, <laughs> you should not be touching there you go. That's what I'm saying. The, um, in the trades world, you've got different power tool brands. And being a part of every different power tool brand is basically kind of like, it's like gang culture vibes, but make it nice. So if you're like a Milwaukee person, uh, you kind of have beef with the Makita guys and the Hilti guys and the Bosch guys and what, what, is, what else is there? So on their toes. Yeah, so uh, normally people pick a brand and stick to it and if you are anything else, then it's a bit sticky still. It was crazy. So there's two, two brands of tool bags, this brand and another brand, and they had a massive beef thing. People like literally putting their bags in the bin and everything, yeah, ripping off the logos. So in the trades world, there's a lot of banter great but then there's also a lot of politics um yeah it, it, it gets techy so this brand here if i was to purchase it i'll be supporting something that most of the sparkies are against but then the other half are just kind of like it's politics no one cares but yeah crazy i'm in my mom's car <laughs> oh look at this it's got little handles but you know when your back's hurting your old retired spark like Oh. That's it. Got your little step there as well. Yes, this is lovely. This is what I need. Look at the boots. What the hell? How does this all fit in there? It's like a TARDIS. It is, isn't it? Yeah, I yeah, could yeah, fit so my ladder. That I could even sleep in this and like yep. on the summer. This is the other power tool brand. So if you're part of them, you you don't mix and match tools. People don't do that. Um, yeah, and when I say they're like proper fans, they'll wear everything branded by this power tool brand. So they'll literally wear the t-shirts, the socks, the bags, everything will just be like, it's basically like a football team version, actually, yeah. It's more like football teams. Um, and this, the what I would say is more like, Milwaukee's Arsenal, 
the wall, if that was a football team, probably be like one. Man U. Uh, and Bosch would be like Wigan or something, I don't know. The best trouser workwear company ever. And I'm not even sponsored to say it. Hello. Got the. Good to see you. I've got your boots ready. Got the Komodo. Boots at the front ready. You've got the trousers on. Woo! Look at these. Oh yes. So um, I'm gonna be buying myself the grey and the black version of these. These are the best. So basically, they feel like tracksuit bottoms, but they're not. They're proper work trousers. So yeah, if you. And they fit well as well. And they fit well. They've got a little like drawstring. If you see other work trousers, they're like the most uncomfortable thing in the world. So when I used to do call outs, I always used to wear like leggings, tracksuit bottoms, but it looks very unprofessional. This feels like tracksuit bottoms, but it looks professional. Um, and they've got the shorts as well. The shorts are sick for summer. But what I say, I've got the DeWalt's on, fit perfect. Man. Uh, oh, where's it? <laughs> <laughs> He's got the on. He's got the trap You know what I mean? Ah! The basic electrical wear. <laughs> Man's gonna be on OSM. Like, wait, this is the ones I'll be getting in blue, and I'll be getting them in grey. So basically, as an electrician, you're on your knees at like, all day, basically working hard on sockets. Uh, no one make funny jokes about me being a woman on my knees, please. That's uh, inappropriate. But we protect our knees. So this is why all the work trousers come with like little uh, knee pad things. And we stick knee pads in here to protect our knees. Because when you get old, most of the trades people got back problems and knee problems. So something like this, protect the knees, the, the money makers. That is, that is above me. That's like boiler stuff. I don't get involved. TIS. This is the safety thing that I was saying before, like all the principals have. And actually doing an amazing deal, um, like a starter kit, which is great for the industry because they're looking after the young people that are coming in. They want to make sure that they don't get electrocuted. So they are sending these at a um, good deal. For some reason, your nose is cold. It is, it is. Oh, oh wait, so what you got look at how place? much everyone cares You've about the, the regs. Work. Look at the audience the behind me. Now, just to put, you put something else. No one Yeah, is that real? That's it's a real thing. I thought it was like one of those foam ones you make from shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is it is it legit? Can I pick it up? No way! Is it like that? Right, be careful, cause he's proper heavy. You okay? You okay? What do you mean do with this? <laughs> My God! That's our baby one as well. Yeah. So what do you do with this? What's that for planes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna have to take it back. I've got a new thing I can put up there. We do. I wish I was pretending. I'm genuinely not. Well, you look heavy when you took it off. I genuinely thought it's made out of foam. Hello. I tell you what, you come to London and all the A-listers are here. You've got Kimmy the Sparks. We just saw you handling your massive tool. Yeah, it was a mahoosive. A mahoosive. The NIC are basically like the top of the top of the food chain. Uh, you know, if we do compare it to the Freemasons, they're like that. They are basically, yeah, so he's part of it. And I'm about to spend, I'm about to spend a, a couple grand just to get that logo on my thing too. So I'm gonna have to do one or two more qualifications, couple grand, then you gotta pay like a grand and a half to do the, the assessment thing. And then it's like 500 pound more. And after all of that, I'll be able to be like him, which is basically a dream. I'm not even And then, and then the yearly registration fees. Yeah, you yeah. You have to be audited every year. Well, you make the money back so quickly. Oh yeah, it, it's, it's a ticket to charge like 50% extra, double, just because you've got, just that. Yeah. So, remember that little Weira challenge we did with the fuse box and I was trying to beat everyone's time and I did, but this guy came second after me, right? Second, yeah. Uh, yeah. Second. yeah, and he actually works for the company, no yeah. offence, but he actually uses these tools and works with them and I'm very upset. still couldn't beat my time. Uh, do you get to try again or just once a day or is there a limit? No, you can have a go, whenever. He'll have another go. Worst things that can ever happen to you as an electrician, yeah? Let me reenact. So imagine you've got one of these now, you've opened it up, you're getting all the bits and bobs out, right? And then guess what happens? It drops on the floor and it goes everywhere and it's splattered and it's your last job of the day and you just want to cry. And then you have to pick everything up and reorganize it in all the little bits. Do you know what I did last night? That happened to me last night. I just chucked it all in a bag and dashed it into the back of the car. 
and a 32. Oh, I do need oh, one of these as well. That's what that is. You I'll can reuse what the it. Was. Yeah. Yeah. You can um, reuse it by twisting and pulling. Yeah, yeah that's what I was going to ask because I know there's a trick, but every time I've tried it, it's never worked. The twist but do you have the other one? Do you yeah, have. Um, no, no. Do you have one of these so you can show me the trick of. Oh, maybe you can do it on this. It's the same thing, right? Same action. Can you show me? Just because I don't believe it. I think it's a. Oh, twisting and pulling, but I'm Yeah, I've done it. Okay, let's yeah. give it a go. So, do I twist, twist and pull? Got to be a little oh, bit. Yeah, there you go. So, the whole point oh, is you want it to be robust, and like yeah. you don't want it to come out easily. Yeah. Oh, the whole insulation is strong. There you go. No, there you yeah. go. Okay. If it was a longer piece of cable, it would work a little bit yeah. better. Because yes. I've always thought these were like disposable. Like, I thought you just no, chop so it off and throw it in a bit. Re I never knew they were reusable. Uh, and the other day I put a cable in and by accident I put the second one in there with oh, it okay. yeah. and I was like no and then there was only like that much left and if I cut it any more it would just yeah. not be long enough and I was yeah. like but okay well, but push yeah. yeah once exactly. you do it a couple of times yeah yeah okay apparently it works we have to do a lot of CPD which is continued professional development and what they do is that all day they spend uh, they've got Wait, would you call it? Yeah, they're basically CPD throughout the whole day to keep you updated on the industry, industry standards, uh, so on and so on. So we have to do a lot of this as electricians. We always have to stay on top of all the regulations and so forth. Surge protection is basically when you have a lightning strike hit your house, which has actually happened to my neighbor, they didn't have um, an SBD fitted and neither did we. So do you know what happened? When the strike hit the house, my neighbor's house, went on fire, the whole top floor burnt down and our house, all our electrics blew. So my TV, my PlayStation, the Xbox, the other TV, basically all the electrics. So what an SPD device does, it goes into your main fuse box and when you get a surge from lightning, it kind of just dissipates it back into the earth. It's really, really cool and it will protect all your devices in your house. I need to ask these guys there yeah, how the hell I fix my hat tester because I'm ready to get a Q-Tech if they can't fix right. it. I'm just trying to find who's representing this one brand because I need to have a word with them because their test starts giving me problems. I went to a job, wasn't working, couldn't figure it out, couldn't do the job, it was very annoying. So the doors have to be pushed simultaneously for it to switch on. So, but it's not obvious because the writing is so yeah. small yeah. in there with on off. But I'll put the batteries in. Um, yeah, because, uh, you know what, maybe I'll bring it in tomorrow, would that yeah. work? Yeah, of course. Yeah, so uh, maybe then that will save you doing all of that and then I'll bring my one in tomorrow and then and maybe it, we can have it. If it is a problem, I'll swap it. Oh, okay, cool, we'll have yeah, it tomorrow. Yeah, at least just get the job sorted straight away. Yeah, because... Yeah, um, you can't get better than that, mate. Yeah, we'll yeah, sort that out for you. Okay, perfect, I'll see okay. you tomorrow then. Basically, yeah, no this is amazing, but it looks like an evil robot with two red eyes, so that's the main reason why I don't like it. That's it literally looks like an evil robot. No. It does, look, two red eyes and he's like... Uh, no. But I really want it. But if okay. you ever change the red for like a nicer colour, that's not that, like that's evil red eyes. Standard, red. Little rig here that's set up so, to simulate the electrics of a house. And um, these are like little testers. So you, you turn it on and it measures the earth leakage. So when it's too high, your electrics will trip basically. Um, yeah. Is this an ear thermometer? Yeah, nice little hair trimmer. Now it's for a fuse for under. <laughs> fuse finder. Oh, I need one of these. So that's on that circuit. Oh, that's the fuse it comes with the adapters. Well, no, you've that's got. That's what I need. Yeah, you okay. yeah. Is there one that can just wait? Does it need to be live? Yes. Okay. Because yeah. I think you get one that's like radio frequency and it just beeps yeah. or whatever that does. Which is on the table like. over there. Oh, you so have that as well? You do have one, yeah. This as well. This is like um, a must fuel have. Function on the sun pipe, so it'll do it all picks up storage, power. Why that's there. So right now I'm generating electric static and okay, it's, it's telling me that there's electric coming up while I'm doing this. Cool fact. So these are like wireless switches. So if you ever want to get a light switch, let's say on one side of your bed and another side of the bed, but you don't want to rewire or whatever else you would get one of these so it's wireless goes on a wall and it connects to your light so oh look it's doing it over there there you go
cute. Do you know the so, beauty of the product? Oh. It's silver and it's labelled. Guess what batteries? Guess what batteries in there? Double A? Triple A? Keep going. The CV2000 and zero. There's no battery in there. So is it just running off my wall? Just by clicking that. Oh, the kinetic. The kinetic. Okay. Just send a signal. You know what? I should have known that. I should have known that. 80 metres outdoors, 30 metres indoors. Okay. Yeah. What's the guarantee on that? 103 years. 200,000 clicks. 200,000 clicks. That has not got a battery in it. Sick. The only time you know your doorbell stopped working is when you miss a call. It's never going to happen because there's no battery in there. That is so That is brilliant. Cool. Yeah. Sounds like a conspiracy theory, to be honest. Yeah. It's true. We're not, we're not magicians. It's true. It Apparently, it doesn't need power and it works. I'm going to get tea. Getting a what? Tea. Tea? No, no, no. Go around. Do some more work. Come yeah. on, man. I'm tired. Always with the tea. Always with the tea. You have to, innit? These guys are so cute. He's like, like, if I could have an uncle, I'll pick him. Welcome to Starmore. <laughs> yeah, if, if I could have an uncle, I'd pick him as my uncle. So this is... You can kind of use it for anything, uh, but what we use it for is, let's say you want to hold up a cable, you kind of take this, chop a little bit off, it bends, and then you bend it over, drill it into the wall, and... Okay, well, paint flicking off. Just put that back. <laughs> Basic, um, what do they call it? Uh, consumables. Consumables, yes, yeah, yeah. So, Unigroup is all the consumables, all that side of it. I'm consumables, I'm hungry. You got any biscuits? <laughs> so, we've not been at the event for a few years. Yeah, I was going to say, normally NRC are not anywhere, but whatever's happened recently is really good because before you guys even have a social media account, like there was. You guys were very far away from... Detached. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't like it, but now yeah. it's like, I love it. Whatever well, you guys have done with the brand. Thing. Okay, yeah. so second tea of the day. Normally, literally, I'll drink about uh, 10 cups of tea a day. So before I leave the house, I'll make four. So you know um, all these little cups, it's over here, yeah. right? I collect them at trade shows. So when I leave the house, I'll literally make four cups of tea. And because it's a thermos thing, it holds the temperature. So I'll drink one and then in an hour, I'll be able to drink the other one because it will still be hot and then another one and another one. And that way, it's just a continuous. You know, some people buy a full thermos flask, but yeah, when you're in the trades, we run off tea, literally, and caps. That's why when you go in a cap in the morning, it's just builders and trades people. We're back and- Back to the beginning, well, back to the start. Oh, we Let's go back to the way things were and we'll see who's a G. It's, uh, don't worry about that, just ignore that. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's almost as let's go back to the way things were. <laughs> I've like, had an argument. <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe oh, yeah. to YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all the social media channels. And uh, what's that? Hit the little bell icon, get the notifications on. Uh, stay tuned because we're doing another little trades person thing soon.